it's just some little something we can do to remember. Whenever you're ready, fire the trigger. Pull the trigger right now. Yeah, I'm ready when you are. Again, I fire. And again. The shot is almost spot on. After a long day of work on a Friday, Bobby Ross came home in hopes of starting a nice, relaxing weekend. However, that plan quickly fell through. It is on, literally. everything. Ross said when she came home from work she began to smell the strong stench of oil. At that time it had only reached the shed but it didn't take long before it covered the house, the child's go-kart and even their dog. One thing could be worse about right now is if it just caught fire all of a sudden and then it would be just like I'm done. <laughs> That was the scene yesterday in Midland, Odessa, Texas. I'm telling you right now, it got wild. And wild it was. Charles Terry, owner of a roofing company, says this is the worst wind damage he has seen in a long while. It was a calamity of flying asphalt and, and composition shingles and metal roofs and you name it. Many West Texans are cleaning up after strong winds swept through the Permian Basin. This roof will cost the owner over $700,000. And this is a small building. Ironically, this building belongs to the Farmers Insurance Group. This yesterday was mostly homes and stuff like that. Eric Easley, an insurance agent, says they can now relate with many West Texans as the agency collects dozens of insurance claims. From uplifted roofs and uprooted trees to all kinds of flying objects, such as this trampoline damaging property. We do have dead trees out there and getting those down and out of the way where they don't end up necessarily on your home or your vehicle or even on your neighbor's property. We may have to remove this entire part right here. But Charles Terry says let it blow as he hammers down on job security. Fix it, watch it blow off, fix it again, watch it blow off. West Texas weather. That our city is run by the, the sun. All harvesting enough energy to run a city twice the size. That is one right there. You, you don't think that's a car? No. Nope. What do y'all think it is? We don't know what it is. When the sun goes down in Marfa, mysterious lights shoot up from the ground. They're just dancing all over the place out there. To try and make sense of these bizarre lights, you can rotate this to make it uh, a little more in focus. The Midland Paranormal Investigators set up camp with high-tech gear in hopes of catching a glimpse of something unexplainable. The camera records not just the visible light, but it also records the infrared light as well as ultraviolet light. Dozens of theories exist to what these lights truly are, some a little more out there than others travel horizontally across the ground and they used to think that it was, you know, ghosts. But professionals say there could be an explanation. It gives you that, hmm, it's just, who knows what that is. Marfa lights will definitely make you think. With your eye on Marfa, I'm Lauren Landman, CBS 7 News. They started mourning the loss of the teenager they've been desperately searching for. I feel like we 
all failed because we promised to bring her home. That's, and I can't imagine. Even children, some who weren't even born when Haley went missing, came to pay their respects. Just hug your kids extra close today. Be grateful you got them. Paso Community Foundation restored this theater seven years ago, and it had originally been a movie house. I used to come when I was a kid. I we used to uh, watch uh, Cantinflas movies here now in, in Plaza Theater back in the 60s, 70s. It was Cisa falling apart, and uh, Cisa didn't have arms. As a kid, back when I was a kid, the, the seas were terrible. <laughs> they were going to tear it down. And in fact, Rita Moreno came out and uh, helped out, uh, helped the uh, foundation to save the uh, Plaza Theater. I came here many, many years ago uh, to help many other people save the theater, which was supposed to become a parking lot. And that just, it's the kind of community to whom it meant a great deal not to have that happen. Welcome to the Plaza Theater. Enjoy the show. There are very few film festivals dedicated to classic film. We're showing classic films and instant classic films, and we're showing independent local filmmakers, and we've got concerts from local original musicians. People have, for very little money, the opportunity to come to a world-class performing arts facility that belongs to them, belongs to the city of El Paso, and enjoy some of the best movies ever made. There is a magic to sitting in a room with 2,000 other people and laughing when you're supposed to laugh and crying when you're supposed to cry and having a real community experience that bonds you with your neighbor. I just love the concept that old films are being brought back for a new audience, an old audience as well, but this old audience brings along the younger people, which is so important. What's the one movie you really want to see this, this movie? The Muppets Take Manhattan. I've noticed recently that a lot of young people have been showing up at my appearances. That's new. I think they've heard so much about me from their fathers and their mothers and their aunts and their uncles and their uncles. Enjoy. Well, I would say my parents, my grandparents all like these movies, so they bring me here. I enjoy them as well. The audience last night was just fabulous. It was every single age. There were some very old people there. There were some middle-aged people. There were some uh, people in their teens and their 20s. And then there were very young people. Thrilling and very exciting, and it, was, it really touched me.